Hey there, and thanks for dropping by. I've been helping my family with making pickles since I was a child. Let me show you how we preserve cauliflower by making it the most delicious and crunchy pickle ever. I'll demonstrate on a medium jar, so feel free to multiply the quantities if you intend to use larger containers. It's really simple, let's go! You start with adding the spices, one dry dill flour or a teaspoon of dry dill seeds. You're ok to go with fresh dill as well. One dry bay leaf, mustard seeds, one teaspoon, peppercorn, one teaspoon, a fresh celery stem together with the leaves. Now add some cauliflower pieces. The size that you cut them into depends on the size of your container. I went for smaller ones to be able to squeeze more of them in my jar. Place some pieces of peeled carrot as well as a few slices of fresh celery root and a bit of peeled and sliced horseradish. My mother-in-law says that the horseradish is needed to help with preserving the crunchiness during the fermentation process. From now on, just do your best to arrange the veggies in the jar to accommodate as many as possible. Let's not go really crazy with exact quantities. The main thing you need to worry about is the cauliflower should be the dominant veggie. So finish up by filling your jar with it as well as a few pieces of carrot, celery root and horseradish, almost till you reach the top. For the brine you need to mix the following items. Multiply the quantities to get as many liters of brine as your container calls for. So, for each liter of water, add 30 milliliters of vinegar if you have the 9% acidity one, or 50 milliliters if you have the 6% acidity vinegar. Also, measure 40 grams of coarse salt without your din. Stir till the salt is completely dissolved and pour it inside your jar. You want to completely cover everything. Now, give it a hug and shake it a bit to get some of the air bubbles out. You can seal the deal and prevent the veggies from rising up to the top by making a sort of escape fencing from dry dill stems and or celery stems. Put a lid on it, store it in the coolest, darkest place you have around and do your best in not opening the jar for at least one month. Pickles thrive in cellars, but if you don't have one in your house, keep an eye on them, they might be ready even faster. Hope you'll give it a try, guys! The most difficult part of this canning process is just to make sure you have all the ingredients available. I have more videos on making your own pickles, so if you enjoyed this one, hit that subscribe button and turn that bell notification to red. If I somehow touched your pickling vibes, let me know by liking this video. And if you feel it's a keeper and want to make it later, just save this in your recipes playlist. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so if you have any, drop me a line in the comments. I'll be around. Cheers!